Hello friends and welcome to the final video of the tutorial series on the process of preparing for and building the wing ribs for the old Corbin cabinets. So let's get to it men. Well men, there we have our wing rib in the rough. Uh, we've proved our jig. We've made adjustments on the jig where necessary. And, uh, you know, a lot of people will take a rib like that and, you know, fresh out of the jig and, and they'll say, man, that looks good. I, uh, I'm through with it. But we're not going to do that. Uh, we're going to give this rib a thorough and complete sanding. And that will yield for us uh, at least three benefits. Number one, it's going to take a good-looking rib and turn it into a beautiful rib. Number two, it's going to add lightness. Now, I can hear everybody, you know, bemoaning the, the fact that it's not going to take that much weight off. But I've always said, and I always will say, if you can save grams, then you're going to save ounces, and ounces add up to pounds, and uh, it could make a significant difference at some point in the future. And number three, and this goes along with adding lightness, a well-sanded wooden structure will not take as much varnish, believe it or not. Sure, it's a little more work, but, you know, what is 30 minutes per rib over the course of a whole airplane? You know, it's not going to be really that much time. Okay, here we go. Okay, men, the first thing we're going to do is take a, uh, a fine file, and we're going to go along on every one of these gussets. And we're going to knock down the high spots that we find along these gussets. And then we'll use the file to just chamfer the edges. Now you don't want to cut into your cap strip. You're just wanting to knock down the high spots and chamfer the edges. Okay, next on the agenda is we're going to go along with some 220 and sand all of the cap strips, the verticals and the, the diagonals. We're going to sand them all the way around and then just chamfer the edges. Now you don't want to chamfer the edges up here on the top leading edge. Uh, there's going to be a uh, plywood a nose piece that goes over the top but not on the bottom on this design. So you can chamfer the bottom but not the top. Okay. So we'll just settle down into a routine of making it look pretty boys. Now when I say chamfer the edges I'm talking about just breaking the edges you don't want to go hog wild with that, but you do want it to be nice and smooth. Okay, you get the idea, and we're going to go along and do every one of those. Ha <laughs> ha. 
friend, Wendy Ernowski. <coughs> He's a model airplane guy, or used to be nationally known, and a, uh, a private pilot. He says, I find sanding relaxes me. <laughs> it does me too. I, I don't know why, it's, it just does. Taking something with harsh lines and giving it a softer, nicer look. Now here's a little tip that you might want to try. Uh, for getting around these inside curves, curves like this, you can take you a piece of styrofoam and sand it into a curve and on a flat on one side. And it makes an excellent sanding block that will give a little bit. And it especially works nice sanding around those little curves like that. just kind of finish it off you can do this or you can do it by hand I like to use a little mouse sander on the uh, plywood gussets and you remember when we were uh, cutting out the gussets and I uh, said to, to uh, break the edges sand the edges on the uh, belt sander just break them well this is the reason why it's to help get you a head start on sanding all of this out. Well, there we have it, men, uh, the completed wing rib. Now, I probably spent 30 minutes sanding that rib out, maybe a little bit less. But it turned out real nice. It, it turned out beautiful. And by beautiful, I mean as, you know, wooden things, as anything built out of wood. It just has an beauty to it that's hard to uh, it's hard to find in any other type of construction so that's going to wrap up the series boys I hope you guys you know got something from it hope anybody that was uh, reluctant to start a project has now gotten this far following my video and they found out that they really can build an airplane with just a little bit of perseverance a little bit of uh, study it's possible for anybody to do this Anybody that looks at it will know that you've put the effort into that to, to really make it look nice and to build it nice. And who knows, like I said before, 75 years from now, it may wind up in a museum somewhere. I mean, you never can tell, 100 years from now. And 
you know, when they see the structure and how well it was built, you know, they'll think, boy, those guys back in those days really knew how to build airplanes. So anyway, as always, fellas, thanks for watching. I don't know if I'm going to continue the series with building the wings. If there's enough interest, maybe I will. Um, but there has to be, you know, a significant amount of interest for me to go ahead and do that because it just, it takes a huge amount of time to film and edit and uh, get it up on YouTube. So now we can mark off and cut out every one of our vertical and upright templates. And you can ease your task and also expedite the, uh, the process by building you a little jig here that will help you accurately uh, hold your pieces in place while you mark them. That's how we build airplanes, my friends. So, I hope you enjoyed the series. Um, I hope maybe you've learned something from it. Um, and if you were on the fence about building an airplane, I hope you'll you know, take the plunge and uh, just dive right in. I know you can do it. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Trust me. So as always, fellas, thanks for watching.